everyone, this is Peter Pan. We're gonna break it up into 30 minute long segments. Presented but... by Queen Rose. I basically translated the entire prologue up to the opening movie, which is where we start our routes. Um, it's very long, about 1,200 pages. So it'll be several hours. <laughs> and this is one I'm going to continue. おかしな島のピーターパン She's like, what is my first and last name? Both the first name and the last name can be up to eight characters. And we're going with Wendy Darling. This is iconic. It's like Darling Wendy and then signature completed. Here it's talking about how the start button opens up the menu and then the X button allows you to back out. The town is at dusk, where many people come and have to go now. I'm in the middle of rushing home after shopping. Mama, the little girl's like, Mama, I was praised by my teacher today for a piano lesson. And the girl's mother's like, Well, can we listen to it when we return? I'd love to hear your wonderful performance after such a long time. Ah! And the little girl's like, yeah. A hilarious girl and a kind mother. Their smile relaxes me in the beautiful scenery. People in the town around her, they're like, so I think I said it before, but it's not my fault. The carriage that came late is the bad one. When I was walking out of good mood, I passed these men who talked in such a way of creating a bad atmosphere. <laughs> More people in the city. I don't want to ask you for excuses. I'm probably the person labeled in charge, and I'm asking what I'm going to do with these facts that the failure to complete is true. So, so do, uh... And a person responds to him, oh, well, that is, and trailed off. This time of day, the city is crowded with various people, Wendy concludes. I'm a person walking silently. People walking with friends are talking lively around me. A happy person, then an unhappy person. Nothing particularly going on, just spending time like every day. This is the road that many people pass at their own pace. It's the usual sight after shopping. And I don't hate walking on this miscellaneous path where various human patterns are visible and hidden. It's a place where there are so many people and I feel reassured that I can accept any type of human being. Our first CG. She's like, oh, after a pause? In the crowd of people in front, I saw something moving green across my sight. When I was wondering what I was looking at, their front, back, left, and right were irregular. They're not that big, and the movement is pretty quick. Children, she thinks? For a moment, I feel like I saw a boy with an anxious face. Perhaps they got lost, she concludes. It's a crowded place, so if you're straight off the path, it's hard to figure out where you are when you think. Our second CG. And the guy's calling out, hey, the lady there. I was worried about the green boy I saw when I was looking around thinking what to do. Suddenly someone called out to me. Looking over to there, the clerk of the stall crepe shop, crepe shop smiled at me with a big smile. 
今なら特別に生クリームを大サービスするよ The crepe shop clerk, how about a delicious crepe? Now we specially serve fresh cream. Wendy's like, I'm sorry, I don't want sweets. So, what's on them? That's a cousin in all me again. The crepe shop clerk, that's pity. If so, why not give it as a souvenir to your family? Wendy's like, um. I'll let you convince me to come closer next time. <laughs> She's avoiding him. And then the CGs are gonna change. I reply with warm words and look again at the street. The boy from just before had disappeared. Where did you go? Our CG's changed again, and this is our first look at Peter Pan. He's kind of a creep, you guys. He's over 100, and like, yeah, so. Looking around, I found a boy in green clothes standing a little far from the place I first saw him. Wacky green clothes, it's definitely the boy I saw before, she concludes. The boy looks restless and does not rush. He's given to look to the right, to the left, to the sky, or to the uh, ground. From that point of view, I'm sure he's lost. It's about time to get home to prepare dinner, though, Wendy concludes. And if I don't go home now, I may not be able to start eating at the same time as usual. If you're late, your mom will get angry at you. And at first glance, he doesn't look so young. And if he's in trouble, really in trouble, he can ask the people around me for help. So I can't overlook the reasons why I want to go home. And my feet are drawn to the boy, though. But my feet are drawn to the boy, though. And then Wendy's choices are the top is don't call out, or the bottom is call out. And I chose the bottom, so... Here we go. No, you can't make dinner in time if you're calling out to him, she thinks. And then she's like, if you're a boy of that age, it's okay to be lost if you're a boy. I made myself say that and desperately tried to turn my foot towards the direction of my house, but I was wondering now. If you don't speak out here to him, you'll regret it. I felt like that. Ugh, I can't help it, she concludes. And she yells out, hey, what's wrong? The boy looked up at me in surprise and bleaked repeatedly. The CGs are gonna change. He's like, did you talk to me after a pause? And here's our first real look at his, like, full figure. This is his first form. He has an adult form that he transforms into. It's even bigger than her. Like, way bigger. Wendy's like, yes, yes, I wondered if you're lost. He asks her, who is lost? And she's like, you? He asked her, did I seem lost to you? She's thinking to herself, are you being playful or playing around with me? Wendy tells him aloud, you looked like that, so I called out. And he's like, I'm looking lost? The boy was still and opened his eyes wide, then took a deep breath. He sounds like it's amazing that I said this. What, what, she asked him. Or to herself. And then she's like, if it's different than I thought, it's okay. Trailing off. The CD's <laughs> changed again. <laughs> He's just laughing here. This is actually where the teaser ended about. He's a bit of a 
Jar Care. <laughs> For sure. Wendy has no response to this because it's really bad behavior what he's doing right now. <laughs> he's still laughing on the ground. And she's like, what? <laughs> Her, I'm lost and then laughs that's what all of those little like repeated signs are so, ha, 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 ha. and then he's like oops it's too funny and my stomach is sore he concludes aloud Wendy confirms to herself that the boy turns over on the spot presses his stomach and then rolls around she's thinking did you have to say it with such a relevancy she tells him aloud, I hope it's different than that. Stop rolling around in such a place because it's bad behavior. She's scolding him. <laughs> He's like, stop, stop. <laughs> and she's like, I can't understand what's interesting about the current conversation. <laughs> he cuts himself off a couple times, but basically he's saying, but it's useless, laughing, and then I can't stop. Wendy allows, like, what? <laughs> he's just like, ah, ha, 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 ha. That's what those repeated signs are, it's laughter. <laughs> Wendy has no reply to this bad behavior. And she confirms to herself that the boy laughs gaily while lying on the road. When he does that in front of you, it stands out. I wonder if something is wrong with this guy, like in his head. And I'm sorry, I've called out to him. While feeling embarrassed, I listened to our surroundings. However, the people around me were totally indifferent. And she's thinking to herself, nobody cares about this? aloud she's like eh and then to herself she's like nobody thinks it's weird even though he's so noisy she's like i feel a sense of discomfort in the city now but because of the boy but it's because of the boy who keeps laughing and i can't even think about what it really feels like <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's choices, though, are the top, get angry and go home, or the bottom, ask to stop laughing. And I chose ask to stop laughing because I wanted to be neutral in the prologue, so that way we don't have any, like, points tipped in either favor of anyone. And she's like, please stop laughing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> after a pause mm, he's sick in the head and then she's like you're okay then aloud and wendy's like i turned my back on the boy and tried to leave cg has changed again of course and he's like wait where are you going i'm enjoying talking to you so much let's talk more that was quick, and he grabbed her, too. Wendy's like you, to herself and to him. The boy who had been lying down until a moment ago got up and grabbed my arm, a surprisingly light on his feet child, she confirms to herself. If there's someone like you talking to me in a place like this. And he's like, besides, 
Anyways, it's strange that I look lost to you, so I thought I might laugh too much and die, he told her aloud. Wendy's like, maybe the boy remembered since he was laughing and laughing. <laughs> that it was bad behavior. And she's like, which one is in the wrong to herself? And she's like, this boy is somehow strange and I can't say what is weird, but something is definitely weird. And she's like, well, it doesn't matter what he's like. If he's to laugh and laugh at this, in this kind of traffic. Wendy's like to, uh, to him, I screamed at you when you were wandering around. So I was the one that called out. If you've just been misunderstood by me, it's okay. So she's like trying to smooth it over and like get away. He's like, I'm not lost. I just don't know where to go, which makes no sense. And she thinks it too. She's like, aloud, you don't know where to go? And then trailed off, and she's like, but you're not lost? Eh? He's like, yes? Question mark. And then he's like, you're asking why I'm not lost? And then he's like, you wonder why that's the reason and why I'm not lost. But it's because you can't reach your destination if you don't know it, right? He tells her. And when he's like, is your destination here? He's like, no, such a place as this cannot be where my destination is. And she's like, then you're not lost. You have a destination, but you don't know where to go to reach it? He tells her, I don't get lost, even if you don't understand. My minions were lost, but I'm never lost now. And he's talking about his lost boys right there, but she doesn't know that. Wendy's like, after a pause, they're a lost child too. So, Kobun tacha a maigo bakari sa. Ah, demo boku ga aitsura ni mokutekichi o tsukutte yatta kara, ima wa maigo ja nai kedo ne. He tells her, yeah, the minions are all lost. Oh, but I'm not lost, and neither are they now, because I made them a destination. One day tells them, I don't understand what you mean. Hen na no? Doushite wakara nai no? He tells her you're weird. I don't know why. I mean, it's so easy. He's talking about how easy it is to understand him. He tells her I released the lost children from being one of the lost. That's it. And Wendy's like, the boy looks up at me with a very moody look. I don't know why at all, but I feel like I'm the one being ridiculous here now. She's like, it's weird. This kid is so weird. She's like, I think I shouldn't be involved, but I just keep talking to him for some reason. Aloud, she's like, um... So you did a good thing for them then? So, so, I did a good thing. He's like, yes, I did a good thing. For all of the minions, I helped. And Wendy's like, apparently he's happy with my way of loosely speaking. The boy laughs proudly. He's like, yes, I came up with a good idea. You are interesting, so I'll help you. So I'll be an authority to you. And Wendy's choices are the top, thank you, or the bottom, I hate it and don't want to. And I chose the top, because again, wanted to be neutral. So. She's like, think you can help me? Thank you. And she concludes to herself that the boy, who is proud, does not seem to doubt that he is doing something good. She's like a weird child, and then trailed off, but it looks like he's not a bad child either. Let's talk and then I'll go home. She's like, but I don't have any problems, so it's fine. And she tells him, help those who are really in trouble. Yeah? 
僕の申し出を断るっていうの He's shocked. He's like, yes? You're declining my offer? 君ってすっごく変わってる。変だよ。ありえない。He tells her you're so different. It's weird. It's impossible, this. And she's like, a weird boy told me that I was weird to herself. And she's like, he is able to, and trailed off. And then aloud, she's like, you're a lot more different than I am. You're the strange one. And she's like, I'm sorry, you're weird. And I think it's good, though, to have confidence. She's like, you're weird, but it's good that you have confidence. And then to herself, she's like, I must still be a kid when I feel like a kid next to a child like this. Eh? <laughs> Because he's, he's throwing her off balance. And then here he's like saying, Hey, I am weird. And then he's like, Weird. It's strange enough to just be confident then? And then he's like, Hmm. Do I look unusual like that? And he's like, hey, what do you think it looks like to be normal? And when he's like, the word unusual should not be a compliment, but the boy smiles happily at it, just to herself. And then she's like, everywhere on you aloud is strange. For example, when I'm standing alone in a place like this, she trails off. She insisted and carefully observed the boy's clothes again. She's like bright green, and the more I look at it, the more I am sure it's familiar with stage costumes. Allowed, she had trailed off and like kind of like stepped over to a different corner. She's like, by the way, where are you planning on going from here now? Herself, she's like, perhaps he was planning on going to a costume party, as I thought he wouldn't look like that if it's everyday wear. And then she's like, or really? <laughs> and trailed off. Boku wa doko ni mo ikanai yo. Tsukunaku tomo, koko de no yo ga sumu made wa zettai ni. Ne? He tells her, I won't go anywhere, question mark. I mean, at least until I'm done here. And then she's like, what's wrong with that statement to herself? And aloud, she's like, but didn't you say this wasn't the destination you were going to? And to herself, she's like, he was wandering around here in such a restless manner. I don't think he has a clear purpose. When I start thinking that he's lost, I can only think this is so, and it makes me uncomfortable to leave him alone. She tells herself I feel inhumane in many ways trying to do so. And she's like, aloud, you're in trouble now? Question mark. Shall I help you? And she thinks to herself, it's a detour, but if we go over there, we'll find a police station. She's like, even if you don't eat well with them, your family will understand it was for this reason if you tell them why. So she's like, even if you miss dinner. He's shocked. He's like, uh, you'll... And he's like, you'll be the one now? And he's like, yes, yes, I'll take you to a place that seeks to protect you. Hugo. <laughs> and here the CG is changed again. He's laughing in like that annoying manner and he's like, protection. She's all like, so done with this. <laughs> you can tell where her face will expression. <laughs> he's like, for me, protection is? And then he's like laughing at him. <laughs> when he's like, may I ask why you laugh aloud? He tells her because trailed off and he's like I'm so strong that means nobody can be me question mark she's like huh she thinks to herself that that's such a childish expression and she's like to herself younger than his age seriously he's acting like such a funny fellow 
フックと戦ってやつの手首を切り落としたのが僕だってこと He tells her after a pause, maybe you don't know, question mark. And then it was,、uh, he tells her it was me who fought Hook and cut off his wrist. And Wendy's like, Who is this Hook aloud? Eh? Hook was s h i r a n a i n d Kaizok no Sencho da yo, James Hook. He's like, Eh? You don't know Hook? And then he's like, A pirate captain, James Hook. When he's like, I don't know such a person. And he's like, <laughs> That's so rude. He's like, Don't you really like, know? And then he trails off. And then he's like, You are ignorant? So rude. She's like, What was that you just said? All mad, you can tell by her facial expression and her sprite over there. Wendy has no reply after that. At first, she's just angry. And then she waves it off. She's like, aloud, no, that's right. Just like going along with it. And she thinks to herself, he's a child with a daydream. It's ridiculous to get stuffy over it. He's Like, you can't help it, so I'll tell you aloud. And then he's like, Hook is a pirate captain, and he's a silly sword welding one. Wendy's like, Hey, aloud, what do you mean by a pirate? And then, Hey, so, Kaizok. He's like, Yes, a pirate. 100年ぐらい前に初めてフックと会った時には、もう海賊の船長をやっていたから、いつからそうなのかわからないくらい海賊だ。He tells her when I first met Hook about a hundred years ago, he was already a pirate captain. So I don't even know when he became a pirate. Wendy has no reply. She's dumbfounded. And then she's like, so aloud. <laughs> and to herself, she's like, outrageous and violent fantasies. It is a dangerous area, even if it is in a child's fantasy. I saw you so you got to get on what's the hell? だから正々堂々と相手をして僕の方が強いってことを教えてあげたんだ。He's like, that was the one person that came first. So I played straight away with him and taught him that I was stronger. それなのにあいつは自分が弱いことを認めずに何度も何度もしつこく僕を殺そうとしてきて。He tells her, but he didn't admit that he was weak and tried to kill me over and over again, trailing off. Wendy's like, well, well, that's it. And then at the end, she's like, aloud, it's sounding tough for you. And she thinks to herself, oh, it's tough. She's like, for me, I wonder why I got into this trouble. And then she's like, but I can't just throw him away to his own devices. She concludes. And then she's like, to herself, he makes still an inappropriate, he makes an inappropriate relationship between things, but the boy keeps talking without worrying at all about that. I tell says any mushy state at a condo a book no cobun, coroso to stand dial. You're s e n a c t e skies in yats no katate or sky no kuste at the nosa. He's like, I was ignoring the other person and he was trying to kill my minion. I couldn't forgive him, so I couldn't let him use his one hand, and that was for retribution. Now he's trying to be reassuring to her. He's like, and I don't think people like, in this city、uh, should be afraid of such a person trailing off. Wendy Loud tells him after a pause, the story is already good enough for me. I understand that you are strong. I'm trying to end that. She's like, to herself, in a fantasy, anyone could be strong. <laughs> and she thinks that's why it's so dangerous to immerse yourself. So that! 君に僕が戦う姿を見せてあげるその方がきっと分かりやすいよね And here he's like yes I'll show you how I fight it's going to be easier to understand for you She thinks to herself making the delusion a reality No it's fine for me the way that I am And she tells him aloud who are you going to fight with there's no pirates here 別に海賊じゃなくてもいいんだ戦う意思があれば He's like, aside from being with a pirate, if they have the will to fight, I will undergo a duel no matter who I am with. And 
Wendy aloud. She's like, don't just say stupid things. Let's go to the police. I need to get you proper protection. And trailed off aloud. Ah? He's like, after the CG changed again. Well, what were you just listening to? Like, to him. He's like, I suppose you heard I didn't need protection, right? And this is where we're gonna end this video. All right, you guys. This is our save slot. Sweet, save complete. Alrighty.